Hey, what's up? Welcome back to Paul Plays Minecraft, and I have done just a small bit of inventory management. Truly, what is wrong with this location? Dark jungle. Not the best for living, I suppose. But hey, thanks for the egg, buddy. Chicken in a bush. All right, let's head down here, back to the farm, and... Let's put up the wall. So I think I'm ready to do that. I don't have gates. I'm going to have to chop down some more wood. But that's okay. So now we're just going to go, I think, go around this with the wall. And um, make it look a little cobbly. Uh, a little mossy here and there. And a little not so mossy in other locations. I'll have gates up um, on those pathways. There we go. So this is trying to keep in tune with my uh, jungle ruin motif here. Man, I'm going to need more regular cobble. I've got plenty of mossy. Of course, that's cheap to come by, isn't it? I'm going to have to go make a quarry somewhere. Oh, wowzers. All right, then. Uh, let's put that there, and we'll put you there. There we go. Okay. That's sufficiently old and decrepit, I think. All right, now let's make the uh, the gates. I'm going to need four gates. One, two, three, four. And egg. Go there. Ooh! No, I like the post. Ow! What the... I really like the way that looks. I prefer it with the uh, that post right there, but it, it automatically removes the post. Oh well. I'm trying to jump over the walls, which you're supposed to keep things out, including me. Okay, so we have. No, that's why it's here. Now be gone with you. I don't want to kill all the chickens, so I can. All right, you are the luckiest chicken on earth, at least in Minecraft Earth right now. I'm gonna take a tater. So I think um, what we'll do is we'll put the, uh, I thought about that later. I'm like, what am I going to do with the spot? But duh, melons and, and pumpkins. And uh, there were a lot of suggestions to put a um, lily pad here. So that seems to make sense to me. I just have to find a lily pad. And here comes the rain. Not sure how many. You know what? There's a body of water over there. Whoa, whoa, Zippy! Calm down there, Zippy. Whoa, oh no, here comes the lightning. Well, we're not smart enough to get out of the rain, so let's go over here and. I'm gonna breed a cow and then kill a cow, and maybe I can find that sheep I've been looking for. There were some suggestions to go over and steal um, wool from the town over there. There's black wool and lampposts, which I guess I could do, but it's more thievery. Too much thievery just makes everything too easy. Watch it, little fella. Why do you guys always insist on running in front of me when I'm fighting? <laughs> all right, should I? Uh, all right, we'll just take Dad here. Plenty of fish in the sea, ma'am. You'll find another hubby soon enough, I'm sure. There was a body of water over here, was there not? I'm only going to find lily pads in swamp, right? And, uh, hey, I'm not liking this, uh, night, um, storm during the day. Get out of here. Here's some stone. Might as well grab that while I'm here. I'll finish up with a cookie. Oh, don't have to. Oh, darn lag now. I hate when it does that. You just want to eat one and you eat two anyway. Not cool. I should probably get inside. <laughs> that was a cave over there. Hey, ooh, check this out. Uh, I, I saw that, but then I just looked over here. And look at this. The sand goes down into a hole. But I'm wondering... Oh, okay. Oh, ooh. All right. Hmm. 
Well, I'll get out of the rain, won't I? Am I equipped for an adventure right now? Yeah, what the devil, let's go. <laughs> what the heck? I've got torches, I've got weaponry, and what do we have here? Oh! Just, ow. Try to back up, but I hit the wall. Alright, that's not good. My hands are cold on it. I'm in the basement and it's cold. I don't turn the heat up down here very often. We have heat down here, but... I usually just kind of bundle up. But my hands still get cold. That's my excuse, and I'm sticking with it. Come on, buddy. That was a little too early there. All right. Better early than late. Dollar late. A dollar late. A day late and a dollar short. <laughs> I think my brain is cold here, too. Oh, uh, anyway. Well, at least the cold weather means, um, at least where I am, means the holidays are here. We've got uh, Christmas spirit in full effect here. We have been watching the family Christmas shows on TV. I think it's, I forget which channel it is, TBS or something. They're doing like uh, 25 days of Christmas. All the old shows, new shows as well. So kind of, oh crud, can I look at him? I don't know, I may have. I guess I'll find out. So, uh, we're watching the shows and and determining we're gonna determine at the end which is our favorite. I think right now our favorite some of us anyway would be um, Polar Express and I, I, the one thing I can't stand about Polar Express is the, uh, the animation so creepy. It's Robert uh, Robert Zemeckis Disney right? That animation, it's its very lifelike, but it's also extremely creepy. Everyone in that one, that was like the, the first big movie using that, that new animation by Zemeckis that said, this is the, the wave of the future for Disney. That's his big claim, at least I think I remember him saying that a few years ago when that movie came out. And certainly there have been movies since. Um, Beowulf is another one that used that Zemeckis animation, if you've ever seen that one. Which was a, a, a big improvement, I think. Which was actually a really good movie for the first hour or so. And then it, you know, I didn't care for the ending much, but... Um, what is all this? Whoa! Holy yikes, that goes way down. Okay. Let's get it from the edge there. <laughs> There's some more iron. Uh, wait a minute now. Let's, let's make sure I know where I'm going. Let's just hop on down. I hear some movement and stuff. So, yeah, Polar Express, I think, is one of our favorites. I really like it. I, I don't know I don't know why I like it so much. Um, I guess I like the story, obviously. Uh, the book is great. It's actually based on a book. But uh, it's about, you know, um, losing the Christmas spirit as you as you get older. So, it's worth reading the book. And darn it, I can't think of the name of the author now. Chris... Oh, shoot. It's gonna bug me. I'm sure some of you know. Hello! But I did enjoy the movie a lot. Um, Tom Hanks pretty much does like every voice in the movie, which is tremendous. Now, I'm going to have to rewatch that film and see if I actually... My first instinct was to block, and then I thought, you know what, knock him back and then block, but I think I ran out of time. Knock him back and then block, and I... Yeah, yeah, I don't know. I'll, when I watch play it back, I'll figure out if I was fast enough. These slow fingers. Oh, that's the doorbell. Hang on. Okay. <laughs> so that's uh, it's my youngest son, Chief... Chief Chirpa, who just had his birthday, the big 11, 11 So he, um, yeah, so he rings the bell. And now, 
It, we, in the back door off the deck, we have uh, you know, there's a bell back there, and that's the way the kids come in because the other doors are uh, typically locked up. And uh, they come in the back door, and there's the bell, and they ring the bell before they check the door to see if it's actually locked. So I was like, dude. So I'm, I go up there, and sure enough, he's already in the kitchen. All right, I hear sizzling, I hear shooting. Oh, wow. Ah! So he, uh, he's like, he's like, hi. I'm like, oh, hi. Did you, did you just ring the bell? He's like, yeah. Said, Why? <laughs> You're in. He's like, yeah, well, I, I rang the bell before I checked the door. Go, okay, that's usually, it seems a little backwards to me, but what do I know? You know it all, kids. All right, let's go down here and get the gold. Oh, this gold's gonna be good, huh? Gold is always good. So, getting back to the movie. Um, what a bat! Jeepers! Don't scare the wits out of me. So, um. Yeah, it's really like it. I love the North Pole as it's represented in in that game, uh, in that game, in that movie. Uh, it's just cool. It just looks great. It just looks. I love snowy villages like that. So, despite the animation not being all that fabulous, you could definitely see where um, the slight improvements that have been made in since uh beowulf and then another one we watched too a christmas carol by disney which is new it's uh well i haven't seen it before we saw saw that the other night too and that's the same zemeckis animation with um jim carrey doing the voice of ebenezer scrooge which he did a really good job i thought that's gonna go fall down no i'm lost by the way in case you didn't know ha <laughs> Love when they bounce right off. Yeah, I knew I wasn't going to be able to back up far enough for that one. Okay, well, this is a pretty awesome cave. Oh, there goes the phone. Now. So, see, yeah, this is the busy time of day where I just happened to come home a little early today and then uh, I got the phone calls going and. Oh. Doors are ringing. Just hoping to get a quick episode in today. I really want to keep this series moving forward as rapidly as I can because first of all it's a lot of fun. It's easy to make because I'm not adding any crazy special effects or anything like that or role play. So I don't have to think about anything. I just hop in and play man. Liking it. Liking it a lot and I hope you guys are too because I can see myself doing this one for a long time. Yeah, so Tom Hanks plays, um, he does like every voice in, in that movie. Oh, I have no more meats. Ew, I'm going to have to survive down here on cookies. I guess that's not such a bad thing. <sighs> All right, well, it's not the best sustenance. Wise. Hey, Zumbling! I would just like to go down there really briefly and just take a look. <laughs> you, do, you look so goofy with that. Um, I was not prepared to go underground. This is absolutely, positively clear now. <clears throat> because I don't even have any wood to make any more torches. So I guess I will exit now. I've got tons and tons of iron. A little bit of gold. All right. So, yes, yeah, so far we've seen, uh, we saw, we saved Polar Express for last. That's, yeah, because it's, it's my favorite and it's Remy's favorite. And I, I'm not sure about everybody else. It might, might be my wife's favorite. It might be Minecraft Mouse's favorite too. But, um, definitely not Jumbo's favorite. <laughs> I don't know about Chief. I can never get a straight answer from him. So let's bolt. Let's get out of here and head back to the surface. 
Hello. No, I'm leaving now. If you just let me go, nobody will get hurt. Oh dear. Sounds like a lot of creepy crawlies. I hear water. This may not be the best thing to do here. Dig up. So we've watched Christmas Carol, the new one, the Disney one, the Zemeckis. Really, talk about creepy. Wow, that was scary too. I mean, I don't. It's rated PG or something, but there's some really frightening images in that. Not recommended for the real young youngsters. If they scare easily, that is, I suppose. Everybody's a little different, so. Um, wow. Okay. How did I get down here? I don't see any upward motion. There was a torch right on the floor. I remember putting a torch on the floor. And that was my indication out! Holy... Get out of here! Oh, now things are getting exciting. Okay. Going down. Down into the depths. I have no wood. I have little food. This is true man versus Minecraft. I have just cookies to survive on. I have a pick and some redstone. What can I make with this pick and redstone, I wonder? What things will I devise? I'll take some lapis too, right? Might as well while I'm here. Okay, let's find some water out, eh? That was mighty close, and in fact, speaking of water, um, I'll take that with me, in fact. Oh, I have wood. I thought that was dirt. Ugh. Yeah, stupido. I can only imagine. Ow. How many people were banging their heads on the keyboards just there. You have wood. <laughs> and I will hear it, I'm sure. So why don't we just take a little redstone here. Sorry, I... The jungle wood looks like... Looks like dirt. Now, don't comment too soon, because what's going to happen is people are going to say... You had wood the whole time. And they'll comment before. They'll say, facepalm, rage. Without watching the whole episode first and realize that I realized I had wood. Before they comment on it. Let's see. <gasps> Diamond. Woohoo. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I, I did not come down here for anything specifically. But, nope. Oh, I need more than that, dude. There we go. I'm light my way with this lava. Sweetness. Oh, yeah. achievement get diamonds. Woo! All right, nearly paid the ultimate price, however. Okay. So now we just have to get out of here. Um, three diamonds. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Where are we headed? Some gold. Any more diamonds here? All right, let's uh, let's go this way. Hi, buddy. Late for the pate. Oh, there's water there. He was hurt. He must have taken a tumble. Okay, so food is still an issue. Anyway, Christmas Carol. Let's get back to the good stuff. A Christmas Carol. New and a Disney one. Zemeckis one. Wow. Cool. Spider. Hey. And we saw Jingle All the Way. Oh, okay. So this is where I felled. This is where I fall down. Um, Jingle All the Way with Arnold Schwarzenegger, which we rented, actually. Um, he wasn't on that channel that was playing all the goodies, but... Which was kind of garbagey. Uh, yeah. How am I supposed to get back up? Come on, dude. Just get out of here. All right. This... Wow. I guess I'm going to take an expressway. 
But I gotta kill you first, you know that, right? We'll do a grab. I don't have gravel, we're gonna have to do dirt. Which is fine. Don't wanna do an expressway too close to Okay, here we go. Let's go. Before this guy gets over here. I don't really wanna do an express near. Near lava, but what am I gonna do anyway? There we go. Alright, so we're back. We eat a cookie. We eat another cookie. And then we get the devil out of here. That sounds like a skeleton bling, no? This is what happens when you don't pay attention and leave proper torch out. Jingle all the way. And then we saw Frosty last night. The original, well, the old Frosty. And then the newer Frosty. Okay, this could be the way. You know, the old Frosty from like the 60s or 50s or something. It's that old. And then, uh, no, wait a minute. <sighs> and then Frosty returns, which is just utter garbage. Okay, this. And what else did we see? Oh, uh, Fred Claus. I love Fred Claus. I think that's pretty close to one of my favorites, too. Let's die, man. All right. Uh, I just have to get out of here. Oh. This is a different way down. All right, well. I didn't get that lily pad I've been after, but I got lots of other good stuff. So let's just chow down some mega cookies. Hop around a little. And, yeah, so that goes through. This is where the original little cave was. I saw the cave, and I'm like, look, a cave, but it wasn't really a cave. Right there, right? Okay, so then my house should be over here. Whew. That was quite the adventure. Um, three diamonds, so now I have what? Four? Didn't I find a diamond in the jungle ruin? That's this uh, That's this series, right? I think so. <laughs> All right. I think we're going to call it quits now. I think we're done for the time being. Let's head back in. Anyway, what? Uh, put down in the comments, um, what's your favorite holiday show if you have any particular favorites um, just curious hey I forgot about my baked potatoes all right oh man I'm gonna need more stoves than this but we'll just do that for now it's okay I'm gonna need more coal too I'm gonna have to go back down again there was a lot of coal I just kind of ran by because I wasn't that interested at the time but all right I'm gonna do some inventory management kind of stuff and then uh, We'll get back to it. That was a pretty good haul. And then um, I think we'll finish up a few more tasks around here. And then we'll go off and explore a little more. So this is just going to be kind of a hodgepodge of exploring and building and playing around and just having fun in Minecraft. So hope you're enjoying. Okay, we'll see you all soon. Have a good day. Bye-bye.